Hey there, friends, it's Pastor Derek, and I wanted to give you a quick update on where things are as we move forward in this week's plan for worship. Um, our plan this week is to worship outside, and we're going to be worshiping outside with our live stream indoors. So if you have a blanket or a camping chair, if you have one of those pop-up, easy-up tents, if you have um, a large umbrella, please plan on bringing those because when the sun shines, it gets pretty warm out there. Uh, we'll do our best to provide air movement with some oversized fans, um, and we will all distance ourselves around the pavilion just like we did last week. It was great to see so many of you uh, journeying out and yet still being able to maintain the physical gaps uh, between our respective households that has been requested of us uh, by the government. So with that, we will be outside. Now, those of you who don't want to be outside or just uneasy about being around people outdoors even, we do have the indoor live streaming option that will be available to you here on property. The goal is to get as many members of Living Word and our community together to worship God in one place as possible. Whether you're inside or you're outside, the service will be absolutely identical. We'll have a representative inside to make sure your needs are taken care of. Uh, we will have communion this week, and so we will be uh, making sure that whether you are inside or outside, you are served uh, communion as well. Uh, please understand that if you are inside, however, or if it is inclement weather and we have to come inside, uh, we do need to follow all uh, safety control measures that have been put on us uh, by the powers that be. So uh, just uh, understand what those are, refer to ODH website or the governor's website to figure out what those might be. Um, so I think right now it's masks indoors, and if you cannot maintain six feet outdoors, do those there as well. So whatever those end up being by Sunday, those are the ones we will have to follow. Um, I don't know what those are because, well, they seem to change periodically. So uh, look to the ODH website for the most up-to-date information. Now, we are offering another option, a new opportunity for you to gather for worship. Um, I've, I've heard from some of you that uh, large gatherings are still just a little bit questionable for you, and I want to make sure that we serve you well in those as well. And so on Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. starting this Wednesday, August 5th, uh, we will be offering a midweek 7 p.m. worship service where all of those control measures are enforced a little bit more firmly. And so if you attend on Wednesday night at 7 p.m., we are going to ask that you wear a mask and that everyone wear them through the entirety of the service with the exception of taking communion. Uh, when you're taking communion on Wednesday this, this upcoming week, um, I will don a mask and you will be able to remove yours while you take communion and then we'll end our service like normal. It will be informal. It will be a service of the word with the addition of communion. So we hope that you are able to participate in that should you desire to do so. Um, I am requesting though that if you are coming to that Wednesday service, if you could give me a heads up so that I can plan accordingly with proper spacing and the right amount of bulletins printed and communion prep taking place. Uh, there will be no assistance uh, that I won't have any assistance in that service, so I will need to make sure that I have everything planned ahead of time. So that's all we've got for this week. We have worship outside at 1030 a.m. on Sunday morning. There is no Sunday morning Bible class or Sunday school this week again. Uh, we are working toward bringing that back into place, but all the additional setup that takes place for outdoor worship makes it really challenging for us to do that. So 1030 worship outside, live streaming inside, and continuing to be online. Um, also, we will be Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. for the foreseeable future, um, a mask service where those uh, of you who feel more comfortable in that setting are welcome to join us there as well. But that's all I've got for this week. Um, I'll bring you another update in the weeks to come as things begin to change and evolve over time. Have a wonderful weekend, and we can't wait to see you in worship Sunday or Wednesday or both because both services will be different. Have a blessed weekend.